Hey everybody, it's Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY and thank you for joining me today because it is hot mess express up here. I didn't think I was going to be able to go live right at noon because um, not one but two of my bank accounts got hacked. Apparently I'm living it up in New Jersey at the MGM and buying a whole bunch of stuff at Sam's Club. So my alter me, alter ego me, is having a great time while I just sit here and pay for it all. Yeah. I managed to not lock myself out of the one account, but all of my accounts, and had to go to an actual brick-and-mortar bank and talk to somebody. So yeah, that's where I am today, but hey, I'm here. You're here. I'm so glad, and today we are going to make, drum roll please, a Easter Bunny pillow. I kid you not. Well, actually, we're going to make two pillows. The second pillow is even more gorgeous than this one, and I think this one's pretty sweet. We are, I took, um, I went on Google and put on, I uh, put Easter Bunny silhouettes or bunny silhouettes, and a whole bunch of them came up, and this was the one I chose. It was, of course, on a piece of paper, and I cut him out, but I think he's so cute. I want to make him out of fabric like I did this pink one. Can you see it okay? I'm going to make another um, another bunny with a different color. So let's, I chose, ah, come here. I chose green because I think green with the pink is kind of cute. I had, here they are. I had a whole bunch of different colors. Here's the pink again. But then I had an orange, a blue, and a yellow. These came as a pack over at Hobby Lobby, and I think they were like $5. But each piece, as you can see, is pretty good size. So you can make a whole bunch of things out of this. Our little bunny is only going to take just a small portion of it, and you still have all the rest for other things. What I did, I'm going to move this little guy out of the way, as I made sure I ironed everything first because when it's folded like this, it's just got a bunch of lines to it. So I ironed it. I also ironed my pillow cover. I got this pillow cover from Hobby Lobby and this was their $15 pillow cover, but look at this really nice zipper in there. And it's, it's you know, it's got a flap, so it's a covered zipper, really nice. And it's really nicely made and it's got fringe around the edges. I kind of like to put my zipper at the bottom across. No, maybe it's the top. Let me see. Yep, it's the top. So I'm going to do that across. You're not going to see it on this side, so it doesn't really matter. My little pink bunny. If you like, you can um, put iron on, what do they call that, interfacing on the back and make him a little stiffer. But for this project, you don't really need to because we're just going to glue him on. And I, I had made my center. Let me get my center first so I don't screw it up. Okay, so there's my center. I don't really want to put a mark there because it's, it's going to be open. I'm not putting a piece of fabric over it. So I'm just kind of pressing it a little so I can see. Make sure my zipper's on the top. Right there is my center. You see that okay? Then I'm going to align my bunnies, just eye them up because I I want to do the center of his body, I think. No, maybe right at the neck. Yeah, I think that's about right. And this pillow cover was so large that one bunny in the center just didn't look like it was enough. So I'm going to have his buddy over here facing him. So there'll be two, two really cute bunnies. So let's cut this guy out. I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't cut into both because I have been known to do that. I'm, I'm really brave going live today after all the fun stuff that's already happened to me. Now you can see I still have lines here and I ironed that really well. So evidently it just wants to stay a little, a little crooked or a little lined up. I use a, a pen and I use it on the underside. That way, um, if I don't cut all the way to my pen lines, let me see if I can, make my pen work. There we go. That um, it won't show on the fabric. Now you can you can make this print this bunny out on cardstock 
it's probably will be easier to draw around it but I just used regular paper and I know a lot of my projects call for um, a printer and if you don't have a printer it's really you know it's, it's kind of hard oh geez I can't copy around this um, and what you can do is save it on a flash drive if you have one and um, from your computer now if you're doing it from your phone you might be able to hook up a printer to your phone I mine is hooked up but it's to my home printer I don't know if the library will let you do that but you can take your flash drive to the library and they will make copies for you really small amount I think it's like 50 cents or so a page so that will help you if you don't have a printer. Ta-da! There's my bunny. Can you see it? Let me put my pen away. There he is. Look at that. Whoa, can barely see it, but he's a cute little bunny on there. We're going to cut him out. Make sure you use your cloth scissors, not your paper scissors, because paper scissors will just, it won't cut. They'll gum along. And these are super cheap, cheap scissors. I think there were two pair for 10 bucks. That's really cheap for scissors. And so they're not real um, professional sewing scissors or cloth scissors, but when you get them brand new, they're real sharp. So it doesn't really matter and it cuts the fabric well. But once you start using it as for paper, forget it, it's done. And it'll only be good for paper. You cannot resharpen these kind of scissors because they're basically made to be disposable, which is a, a shame. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I am just so flustered. I was on the phone for two hours with my bank trying to get this rectified and twice the call dropped. Once because I hit the wrong button. Don't hit the red button that ends the call. That was so dumb. And then the other one was the call dropped. And then a couple of times they sent me, you know, they redirected my call. And I got some kind of funky thing that said, um, I'm sorry, but your voicemail box is full. It was supposed to be a bank number. But that happened twice. So whatever number they were transferring me to was glitchy today. It seems like a lot of technology is glitchy the last couple weeks. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe somebody's playing with the satellites. But um, my phone wasn't even hooked up to my car via Bluetooth. And it's, it's hooked up every single day. So how that even got unhooked. So it's, it's just been a challenging day to say the least. And I was afraid to go live thinking, oh, I'm going to really screw this up. But so far, so good. And when I'm live and I get to talk to everybody, it just makes me feel better. So I'm sorry that I've been whining to you about all of this banking issues, but I'm sure we've all gone through it. I just wish I was having all that fun that my card says I am. <laughs> okay, almost got this baby cut out already. There are so many bunny designs. Now I wanted to make sure it was a silhouette and not like a um, real detailed rabbit because I wouldn't have been able to cut that out of fabric. And I kind of had an idea in mind as to what I wanted. And this came really close. Okay, I am just gonna loosely cut around him so I don't have to worry about what I'm doing. Get his little nose. Oh, still stuck. Come on, nose. There we go. Okay, so what I mean by loosely cut out is I have to do his ears and stuff yet, but it's so much easier to have the smaller piece. And you can tell I'm not wearing my cheater glasses because I didn't bring them out. Yay. So who knows? I might cut him out and he looks like a kangaroo. <laughs> Who knows? Later this week, I'm setting up this whole dining table here for Easter. 
and I will post pictures of my before, during, and after tablescape. And I think I'm going to actually put it out there as questions as to do you like this one better or do you like this one better? You know what I did? I can't use this bunny because they're both facing the same way. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. I am definitely using this rabbit for a different project, but not this one. Okay, so let's do them again. Good thing they have extra fabric, huh? And since I've got the, um, let's see, do I want them this way? I want them this way, but I need them this way on the back of the fabric. That was my, that was my problem. But with the polka dots, I don't have to worry about if it's this way or this way because the polka dots will still go. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Sean. How's everybody doing? Challenging day. Um, lot going on. A lot of problems on the phone, and I didn't cry. That's a, that's a plus. Okay, find my pen again. Let's do this again. Oh my goodness. You know, though, I'm kind of glad I did that because now you can see uh, you really got to think things out before you just start drawing and cutting around. It's kind of important. And since I cut that other rabbit out wrong, I'm definitely going to use him probably alongside my pillow so um, he can be a matching piece. I bought a pink, green, and blue, I think it is, plaid table runner. It's an Easter one, but I got it from Hobby Lobby. They did not have any plain ones. It was what I was looking for. But we're going to make that sometime uh, this week or next Saturday, we're going to make that table runner for your Easter table. It's so cute. And I have ideas of how I'm going to do that. Super simple, so you don't have to go buy a bunch of expensive things. Okay. Ah. Draw around him. So, <laughs> good thing it's just, I don't have to worry about this, this stencil because I'm drawing all over it. Goofball. All right, now let's cut him out and see if I did it right this time. I can't believe that tomorrow is Palm Sunday. It's just come up so fast. You know, our lives get so darn busy and we don't realize, oh my gosh, you know, the, this holiday came up way faster than I thought. Hobby Lobby has all of their um, 4th of July stuff out, but I think it's a lot for Memorial Day too because that is coming up quick. But they have it out already because... A lot of um, crafters like you and me go there to get our stuff to make it, and we kind of have to have it ahead of time. Because if you're going to make stuff, you kind of need time to, to be able to make it. Okay. So I'm really thankful that they do stuff like that. And then once the season gets closer, like, like Memorial Day, they'll put it on sale. But actually right now, all of their Easter and... Americana stuff is 40% off. I got the America sign back there. It just jumped right in my cart. I, I don't know how it got there. It's so darn cute. I love that thing. There's also a pillow that's an American flag and it's made out of um, different ribbons and fabrics. I really wanted that thing last year and I didn't buy it. But I think I might go back and get it this year. I took a picture of it thinking maybe maybe we can make it. I'll, I'll have to, to look at it and research it a little bit more, but I bet you and I could make that thing. And it, it was expensive. I think it's $30. But um, even 40% off, that's, you know, $12, three, six, nine, $12 off. It's still a little more pricey than I'd like to spend, but it's so dark. All right. Now that I've got my bunny cut out correctly, well, sort of cut out, we're still working on it. All right. I, 
I'd do this a lot easier if I had those glasses. But I do not. All right, there's that. I just have to cut around his ear. Oh, and his legs. His ears and his legs. I'm glad I picked a, a simple design. Some of them were so intricate. I thought, no, I definitely don't want that. All right, do a little earbuds. I got Carl laying next to me. If you hear this growling, his stomach has been growling nonstop. I'm not quite sure what's what's going on with him. He might have to go OUT before too long. We'll see. Oh, come on. Yay, I got him cut out right this time. Now let's look. Get everything moved out of the way. Get my backwards bunny out of the way. Okay, is my center, yep, there's my center that I folded and made correct. Okay, there's that one. Oh, what do you guys think? I love this. Hey, Karen, how's it going? Suzanne, how you doing? Crazy day, y'all. But you know what? It is what it is, and you move on. It's how you, and at my Bible study last night, we talked about it's how you respond and how negative thoughts cannot be, cannot be good for you at all. So by removing negative thoughts and just trying to be positive, which I have to be positive today because otherwise I'm going to cry. And I promised that I wouldn't cry today. All right, this is a little bit off. There we go. What do you think? Now, this is really cute, but we're going to embellish it a little bit more. Let me get to glue in this. And to do that, since I already centered those, i got to take them off. Do you believe that? I am going to put a piece of paper in between so my glue doesn't stick the top and the bottom together. <laughs> Carl needs treats, lots of them. I think that might be the problem. I think he had too many treats. Yeah, he's a booger. This paper right here, you know when you go to Hobby Lobby and they have this whole stack of paper that if you buy something breakable, they take it and they wrap it? Well, I keep that. I know. But I put it inside like things like this. So I'm going to put it inside my pillow. Hopefully the rattling of the paper won't be too loud. So this way I don't glue my, my front to my back. Let's see if I can do this a little easier. That there, that there. Okay. I like, also like to use this paper as a um, barrier when I'm painting. My tabletop here is it's pretty ma nasty and messed up from different things that, you know, from life. Just like all of us. And so I don't want it even more so. All right, now I've got my paper in there. Looks pretty darn good. Here's my center again. Let's get my two bunnies. The right green bunny. All right, so I'm going to just kind of eyeball that. Oh, that's perfect. And get this little guy up there. Make sure their tails are a little farther away from the edge. Okay, what do you think? I think that looks really good so far. Hey, Cousin Kelly, how's it going? Bring them on camera. Let's see if, if I can. They're not glued down yet, so um, I can't really lift it up. What I'm going to use, as soon as I get them glued down, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold them up there for you. Um, Fabric Fusion by, it's Aline's original, <laughs> Fab, Fab fabric fusion. So we're going to glue these little bunnies down with this. And I have used this before, so there might be like a little glue plug. Oh, that's good. And instead of picking the whole bunny up and then trying to set it down with the wet glue, is that the same material you do pillows with? It is. It is. I use um, 
at times I just buy rolls of the canvas and I make my own pillows. And Sean has two of my pillows that I made with the canvas that I bought. I just sewed the pillows and put zippers in myself. Before I realized they made these beauties. This just took all the work off out for me, but it is, it's a cotton canvas. And I'm gonna put my hand under here because I don't want glue to get on the top. So we're just gonna go around the edges, maybe. There we go. Around the edges, I don't know if you can see that. I'm kind of trying to put it not all the way to the edge because if the edge of the fabric frays a little bit, that's kind of cool. Why not? Let me see if I can get like half of it done. And it, oh, Carl's snoring. <laughs> Are you snoring, buddy? All right, there we go. So that part will be glued down. Now let's get the rest of them here. Oops, it goes to there. And I'm gonna glue around the edges here. And I might miss a few spots, but that's okay because you can lift those spots up and get under there. Let's see if I do this like this. And roll it down. Ah, get down there. Okay, so that bunny for the most part is glued down. I might have little spots. Once it dries, you'll be able to tell. Oh, that's glued. I might have spots. And you'll see some of the glue on the top, but that will dry clear, so that'll be okay. <laughs> you hear Carl snoring. That's so funny. All right, so we got the pink one. Now we're going to do the green one. And once this is all done, it's probably really best to... Um, iron them and make sure that you set the glue. I promise I will bring these on camera when I get the glue on, but if I hold it up now, everything's just gonna fall. I'm hoping, let's see, if I pull them back here, can you see it a little bit? Also on the, com um, if you want us to just swipe to the side, you can remove the comments from your screen and that way you might be able to see it a little better. But we'll, we'll try it. Let's see. Come on, glue. There we go. And I'm gonna go around his little ears. So I'm not sure what we're having for Easter dinner yet. I think it's ham. So my, my husband does all the cooking for that. He is a genius in the kitchen. All our friends think so. He's just amazing as a cook way better than me, so I just let him do it. I'm spoiled that way. <laughs> we have uh, one of those marriages where we just pitch in and do, there's no your jobs and my jobs, except for the cooking because he's, trust me, way better. But, you know, we help each other out all the time. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to iron it because I still have a couple of wrinkles. Stop it. Get back there. Through there. Okay. I'm going to put the cap on my glue because I don't think I'm going to need it anymore. It was a large 24-ounce coffee day today, so i got to move that out of the way and plug in my glue gun for the next part because... Oh, sorry, Carl. Did I drop something on your head? Piece of paper. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to bring it up on camera. Here we go. Oops. I suppose I can pull that out now. What do you, th oh guys, what do you think? Is this not cute? Now, even if, especially if you put like tassels in the corner or pom-poms drew, drew something on there if you don't like just this, but I think this is really cute as is. Um, but we are going to put little pom-poms on there on the, for their tails. And I make my own pom-poms. You can buy them, but I make my own. This is my pom-pom maker. Now you can tell it came from China because it, they call it a knitting loom. This is not a knitting loom. It's a pom-pom maker. But there's complete directions on the back. I bought this at Amazon, and I can put the link in the comments later today. 
But this, this beauty is amazing. There's four different sizes. And what you do, let me just pull it out so you can see. Oh, maybe. Okay, what you do, I'll take the large one, is these pop open and there's actually, you know, like two pieces. You take yarn and you wrap around and around and around this thing until this little curve is completely full over and then you push it down in and then you flip it as you're holding those, do the same there. And then you put it down in. Once you've got the, the whole thing done, then you cut around the edges Put another piece of yarn through there and tie it. And then once it's tied real tight, you can pop these apart and the pom-pom will just pop right out. Um, you can YouTube it. It's probably a lot better than what I just showed you. But these are really, this is the only way I'd go to make pom-pom. I made a ton of them. I love these. And I think I'm going to use I have purple, light pink, hot pink, dark pink, and white, I think they are. Let me see. Is that? Those are the same. I guess I didn't make dark pink of the little ones. But these are my four colors. Pink, purple, white, and light pink. I don't know if I want to... Oh. If I want a white one or not, probably not. I would like to do the purple one on the pink bunny and the pink one on the green bunny. This is the string that you pulled through to tie it and then the pom-pom pops out. So I'm just gonna cut him even with the pom-pom so now I don't have a handle. I leave these on in case I wanna tie them on things. They are great to, to tie on different things just as embellishments and once my hot glue gun is ready to go which it isn't I'm going to glue them on this fabric won't that be adorable oh my gosh and then the next pillow I'm going to make you will you're going to lose your mind I think the green material as grass on edges of eggs and oh and polka dots would be a good thing to add on. So taking this green fabric and maybe putting it across the bottom as grass, if I used a different color for the bunny, would be amazing. That's pretty, especially if you fringed it after you glued it on. So, so many ideas. Sean is so good at um, cre to be, being creative and thinking outside the box, and I love that. Okay, is, hold on. Hmm. See if my hot glue is ready. Oh, it is. And I am going... <laughs> I just dropped another piece of paper on Carl's head. He's probably wondering, what the what? What are you doing? A friend gifted these to me. They're hard silicone, so I don't fry my fingers every time I use my glue gun, which I'm really good at. Not using the glue gun, frying my fingers. So I'm just going to put a big old glob of glue on there. Stick them on, hold them for a minute. Let's do the same over here. Ah! Okay, stick them on. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's put this over here. I'm gonna need the glue gun a lot for the next project. So hopefully, let me hold these on a second. Looks like they're gonna stay. What do you think? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so big, I can't even get them on the whole camera. I'm going to pull them back like this. Is that not cute? Now, this has a fringe around it, so the pillow um, actually comes right to there. The rest of this is just um, extra fabric. So when you put the pillow in, you'll, you'll be able to see. These bunnies will probably cover up most of the pillow. So let's set those aside. I'll take pictures of this later today with a pillow insert inside. I'm pull a chair over here and put these bunnies right here. One Easter pillow done, and even though I screwed up, it was only a half hour. The next pillow cover I also got at Hobby Lobby, and this baby was only $4.99. Now, it doesn't have the fancy edges or anything like that. Hey, Sally, thank you so much. I love those bunnies, too. And I think 
since they're for Easter, that's awesome. But you know, I, I would use those for spring also. So you could keep those out a little longer. With this one, I gotta get my paper on the inside again, but with this one, we are gonna glue pom-poms around it. And I got my idea from Anthropology. I don't know if you've ever heard of Anthropology, but it is a store that is very, very expensive. Very expensive. They have the cutest things that I like to recreate all the time um, for way cheap. The pillow that I'm going to make is really close to the pillow that they're selling right now for, I think, $230. Even if I was a gazillionaire, I would pay $230 for that when I know I can make it myself and make it in the colors I want to be the cutest ever. So, I think they put those stores out just for people that aren't creative and they like the stuff and they don't know what to do, how to make it. So I get that. I think I'm going to make this with the big pom-pom, so I'm going to take all my little ones out of the way. I made a whole bunch of these pom-poms for a garland that um, I used last year. So these were the extra ones. I just sat in front of the TV and made a whole bunch of pom-poms. I think I have two of every color. Two, four, six, eight. So I have ten. I'm only going to need nine. So I, I think I'm going to get rid of one of the white because they're just boring. <laughs> and I'm going to set this up how Kind of how anthropology had it. Like this. I want to keep my pinks away from each other. Oh, I only have one big, oh no, there it is. <laughs> Two big purples, jeez. And maybe put my white in the middle. Well, I still have my two pinks together. Let's try this. <laughs> I feel it's like, like the shell game, you know? There we go. None of my pinks are together. So I'm just going to glue these on like this. Is that not cute? So let's cut off all their little tails. And this, once you have your pom-poms made, and like I said, I have four sizes of pom-pom makers. So this one was the largest, and this one was the second to smallest. You can still make tinier ones than this. Too fun. I got, um, I have so much leftover yarn from different projects because I also knit and crochet. I make, uh, I knit slippers every year for Christmas for my kids. So whatever's left over is what I usually make my pom-poms with. And I, I like bright, cheery colors. I only make slippers for the girls because my guys are like, you know. Not into it. I get it, I guess. <laughs> I also didn't make any light pink large pom-poms. Light pink would look really good on here. But I tell you what, whatever color you use, it could be for any season. You could do these in orange and yellows for fall or red and green for Christmas or, you know, Whatever colors you like to do for Christmas, you can make it look like a coastal pillow with coastal colors. But this is what I'm doing, and I'm eyeballing the whole thing, so we're not, it's not going to be precise in any realm. I like it! Let me glue these on, and I'll, I'll hold it up so you can see it. I think I'm going to need another glue stick here before too long. Let's see if I can move some things around so I... Don't keep dropping things on, on my dog's head. All right. And I, I put kind of a big old glob on there. Because I really want it to stick. You know, and this will be one of those things that you won't be able to throw in the washer. So once, once it gets dirty, it's kind of a... Maybe you can pull them off and put something over the top. I don't know. Whoa. My glue is bubbling. That's kind of odd. 
Let me put it on low instead of high. Okay, this one, this one. That's better. Whew, it's steaming it so hot. I used the cheaper yarn for this. I didn't use anything real extravagant. I don't know how it would work as a pom-pom. This is just that, uh, I think it's called Red Heart yarn, which is the cheapest pretty much on the market. Okay. This looks so close to the Anthropology one. I'm just so excited about this. Here it is. I mean, nothing to it, right? It is so darn cute. I think it'll look amazing. And I, I think I might take some yarn and make tassels for the corners. Yeah. Tassels are so easy to make. You get a piece of cardboard. Well, say I use this. And you wrap your yarn around and around and around however many times you want. And then you cut the one end. Well, actually, you put a string through the top and tie it so it stays together. Then you cut the one end, and then you tie a string around about that far down from the, the thing, the tie that you did at the top. Another thing you can Google, and it'll show you perfectly. Super easy. Two pillow covers in an hour and, wow, this last pillow color cover took seven minutes. Once you get your pom-poms made. That's pretty much the big time thing in this pillow. But I love it. I think it looks great. I might post it, post a picture of it next to the one from Anthropology, so you can see. Who's gonna, and I think theirs was all one color, so it was like a white pillow with white pom-poms. You can do that if you want. But crazy to pay that kind of amount. So glad you're with me today. You made me feel so much better. Sorry about all the drama and all of the, the, the mistakes I made, but hey, that's what crafting is all about, right? It makes you relax. It totally makes you happy, when, especially when something turns out fabulous. And I think I'm going to gift this to one of my friends. I hope they like it. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me today. I will post pictures later of what it looks like with the pillows in there. And have a great Saturday. Don't forget to go over and um, click on my blog, Inspire Me, the number two, DIY.com. There is a beautiful spring garland with little a mason jar printables on it that all you have to do is click on that story and make a comment at the bottom as to if you like it, where you want to put it in your house, anything like that, just so I know. And subscribe to my blog. You will get a newsletter every week, usually on Sunday, of what's going on this week and what you can expect on my blog and on my Facebook page. So it would be great to be BFFs with everyone. I would love to see you. If you like this video, you really enjoy it, hit the little follow at the top and we can be, we can be good friends. Thank you so much, and I will see you next Saturday, if not before. You will see pictures of my tablescape. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Bye.